Aging is one of the most successful achievements during the past century. Improved childhood survival. Successful fight for infectious diseases. An improved environment. Helped people to live longer in most parts of the world. We soon will have more older people living on this planet than ever before. As both the proportion of older people and the length of life increase throughout the world, key questions arise for those becoming older as well as for societies. Will the aging population be accompanied by a longer period of healthy life in good physical and cognitive shape? How can sustained well-being for as many as possible be achieved? Will aging be associated with more illness, disability and dependency? And how will aging affect healthcare and social costs? Chronic, non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and cancer are burdening people and health and social persistence. Many of them may be related to lifestyle and individual health literacy. Therefore, the prevalence of chronic kidney disease is rising with aging. What may be seen as normal physiological aging of the kidneys? Where does chronic renal insufficiency start? Are there any relations to organ functioning in aging? Did you know that gender and ethnicity may be of impact how you age and how kidneys work? Probably there is an option to positively care for our own renal function ourselves. Have you ever thought about lifestyle and kidney function yourself? Do you take or do you prescribe drugs on a regular basis that may affect your renal capacity? There is already a lot we know and everybody should know to care for themselves and others. My name is Regina Rollerbjörnsberger and I'm an appointed professor of geriatric medicine at our university. My name is Caroline Herzog. I'm the study coordinator of an EU-funded project, COPE, at MIT. This MOOC will give insight in the aging process with a special focus on the role and function of kidney for all citizens interested. So if you're interested, please come and join us.